everyone. This is JJ from Next Level Drums, continuing with season two of the Beginner Chop series. This channel is dedicated to church drummers, the beginner to intermediate church drummers. And we provide wonderful resources, lessons, and courses for you. So if that sounds like you, then I encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button for more great lessons. Today's lesson is going to be focusing on the five stroke roll, but how can we use this five stroke roll for gospel chops? How can we actually use it as a building block for gospel chops? So you don't wanna miss this. Go ahead, grab your sticks, and let's jump right into this lesson. So, in today's lesson, we're gonna look at the five stroke roll, but specifically, how can we use it as a gospel chop? How can we use it as a quick little drum feel that will transform your drumming, get people saying, whoa, what was that? What did you just do? All right, so in order to understand this, we have to understand the rudiment called the five stroke roll. And just like it sounds, it has five strokes. Right, right, left, left, right or you start it on your left hand, left, left, right, right, left. With a five stroke roll, the accent is on the end note. So you have basically diddle, diddle, hit, diddle, diddle, hit, and that last hit is an accented note. So on the snare, it will sound like this. Remember, grab your six so we can practice this together, okay? Now let's put a little speed to it. Now, of course, as a beginner, one thing to do it's just to use the five stroke roll in your hands, move it around the drum kit so you can get comfortable just using it. So that's one thing. Those are just exercises to get you moving around the kit. The way to use this as a drum feel that's tasteful, that's, you know, really sounds like something, is to break it up between your foot and your hand. And because I'm right-handed, I'm just gonna use the right-handed version where I'm gonna move my right hand to the floor tom. And so the first two notes will be right, right, kick, kick, and then come back with the right. Sorry, let's try that again. Now I like to add that hi-hat choke on the last note because it kind of emphasizes the accent. Okay, so Let's incorporate that as just a little feel, a little drum feel, a little something extra in the groove. 